Hello, this is Blake from Team B. Marie. Today I wanted to combine the idea of frugal living and being conscious of our environment and trying to live with a low impact on amount of waste we produce. So one thing I'm going to do is show you examples of some of the ways that I've reduce my waste impact as well as save, saving money in the long run with these products. So let me start off with, first, are not using paper towels. I know you've heard this from other people, but what I do is I just take towels that are on their last legs and I cut them up into squares and, and rectangles and I use them for paper towels. I have a bunch of these and I use them for paper towels instead of using wasteful paper. So that's one way that you combine both frugal and low waste impact. Secondarily, I have a couple ways I combine it, uh, the two in my um, use of uh, coffee as a beverage and that is I use a French press which does not use any filter at, or any electricity and I heat up my water in, the, in an electric teapot which uses less electricity than either a stove or a um, microwave. So, and I use that in the French press but sometimes I also use this reusable coffee filter in my four cup coffee maker drip coffee maker. So it requires that you use fewer, if to none, um, filters, which are paper. And of course, they're also bleached um, most of the time. And in my particular kind of coffee maker, you often can't find the unbleached kind, but they're often bleached and they're also wasteful. So I use that reusable filter. Another thing that I do that's both frugal and low waste is I buy bars of soap. This is in cardboard and it's just a regular bar of soap. I think it's um, ivory or dove or something like that. And I use that instead of using the kind of um, antibacterial washes that come in soap dispensing uh, units. That saves both money because bars of soap are very inexpensive and it saves the waste of um, using some kind of a dispenser. You just you get the cardboard, you use the soap, you put the soap out on a soap tray, little soap dish. Um, I have a black sandstone one that I use in the bathroom. I know you have seen these before, but of course they are well worth their money because before when I was not using these kinds of straws, I was probably getting a single use plastic straw at a stop at a convenience store for like a soda, maybe once or twice uh, in a three to four day period. So this is probably saving for my use alone about four to five straws getting each time I go to a convenience store or fast food store for just a drink. So that's a lot of savings in terms of plastic, which is the most the straws are the most uh, detrimental, among the most detrimental bits of plastic that are produced in our consumer-driven environment. And um, they, they get into, they break up into smaller pieces and they get into turtles and they get into the lungs of, the, the stomachs of uh, birds and so on and so forth. And um, the next thing I want to show you, the next thing I want to show you is, uh, excuse me for repeating myself, but I realized I wasn't looking at the camera are reusable um, baggies, mesh baggies. These are by um, Goguda. Goguda. I have the small size, the large size, and the medium size. Now you can use these to get produce um, at the grocery store, like uh, straight uh, loose uh, potatoes or loose tomatoes. I use them a lot because we used to take plastic baggies filled with like 
Cheerios and Cheez-Its and um, pretzels and uh, crackers uh, along with us when we went on day trips with our grandchildren and we'd eat in the car on the way to our trip. But what we started doing now is using these mesh bags so that we aren't reusing plastic baggies. It's very convenient. It's a, it saves money on plastic baggies considerably. You just wash them out afterwards, which is no big deal. They clean very easily. It's really, it's really a very useful way to reduce your plastic waste. And finally, the last thing I want to talk about today, which I know you've probably also seen in your travels, but is the stasher bag. This is the stasher bag. This is the larger size, one of the larger sizes. And it comes open and closes in the top. Let's see if I can get this. <laughs> I'm about to say not really easily, but uh, there we go. It opens and you can freeze in this, you can boil in this, you can microwave in this. You can store in your refrigerator if you don't want to use a plastic bag, you can put like a half cut onion into the refrigerator. So you can use these in the smaller sizes too. They're stasher bags. Sometimes see them online under the term S-O-U-S-V-I-D-E, sous vide, sous vide, which is some form of cooking that they can, these bags can go into the water, the hot boiling water themselves with vegetables in them. Those are a few of my um, ways that I have worked on both saving money and reducing my impact in the environment. It's about, um, you know, an investment of maybe, I think the investment might have been about $35 worth of things that I got there, maybe $45 worth, but they're reusable and reusable and they'll pay themselves back very quickly. So that's all I have. I thank you for listening and watching and I appreciate your support. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check on the notification bell. Thank you.